going to be doing a special occasion updo and I have started by putting her hair into a low ponytail and I did place a part here on the side of her head that's optional I just think it leaves it with a nicer finish I'm going to start by getting this ponytail wet just so that I don't have flyaways if you'd rather use gel or nothing at all you can do that instead I'm going to start by grabbing a small section of hair on the left side of the ponytail towards the top I'm going to split this in three and begin a regular braid. So I'm taking the outside strands and I'm crossing them over the middle strand. And as I'm going, I'm going to be adding hair from the ponytail into this left side of the braid. So every time I cross the strand from the left over the middle, I'm going to grab a small strand from the ponytail and add it in with that. And I'm not going to do that on the right side of the braid, only on the left. down all the way to the bottom. I probably did about seven inches here and then I'm just going to tie that off with a clear rubber band. So now I'm going to repeat that process two more times. This next one I'm going to grab a section pretty much in the middle of the ponytail and then the third one is going to be over on this right side. Just make sure that you're leaving enough hair as you go so that you can do this three times. So when you're on this last braid, the third one, you just want to make sure that you end up using all of the remaining hair that's hanging down. So now that I have all three of those braids made, at this point it's going to depend on your personal preference how you want to finish it. If you want it more of a fluffy, messy, tousled looking bun, you're going to want to pull along the edges of each of these braids. I'm going to leave ours intact because I want mine more sleek looking. So what I'm going to do is make sure that these are all facing the same way. I want this braid on the right side. So if one of them is flipped over, just flip it back so that they're all facing the same way. And then I'm going to take them and hold them out to the side and then just kind of fold them over where that elastic is. Bring them back to the side of the ponytail and then just pin that into place. You're going to want to start pinning down here towards the base of it and then after you get that secured you can kind of pin these braids into place. All right, I pretty much have the base of that tacked to her head so now I'm just going to grab these individual braids, pull them each up and then just pin along the top. This is kind of your personal preference as well. If you want these fanned out, you can stretch them up higher. If you want them closer to each other, you can keep them close. There really is no exact science. It's just however you want it to look. So I'm going to bring this next one up kind of in the center there. And then just pin it along the very edge. this one on the bottom hanging completely down you can do that I think I'm just going to tack the very edge of that up just so that it's more secure okay so at this point I have the right side of this done this is what it looks like and it's going to be your personal preference how you want to finish it from here if you have pretty long hair you can actually take these ends and just curl them or leave them straight whatever you want to do and then you can add an accessory that matches your dress here on the side. So that's kind of what that's going to look like. Or the other option is to take these ends and kind of twist them up, wrap them over the top of that elastic, and then tuck them back under this bun and pin it. And that's going to leave it more of a polished updo look. Okay, if you want to tuck these ends in, you just want to make sure when you're pinning this top piece that you leave a little opening here. As you can see, I have a pin here and then there's a gap that I can put these ends through. So I'm just going to twist them up and then I'm just going to add a rubber band here at the top of the ends to kind of hold them together before I push that through. that arranged how you want. You'll just want to bobby pin those ends so that they don't end up popping out. So 
that is what it looks like all tucked in. And then of course you can add an accessory to that as well if you want, or you can just leave it plain. It's really up to you.